Hey YouTube, thought I would do a video here and show you a new tank. It's been a while since I've set up anything, you know, different. Um, and uh, I've gone ahead and done that here pretty recently. Um, it's not what you're seeing behind me, that's just the 90 gallon planted in my office, but I decided it was time for a change in my office. Um, if you watched my last fish room tour, you saw that uh, Cheeto, um, who had been up in the office previously, is now down in the fish room, which uh, leaves uh, options open for the 125 gallon in my office. So I've done something completely different, something that I've done in the past, uh, but it's been several years. So um, I guess check it out. Um, I'll show you what we've got here uh, in just a minute. If you're looking for fish food, shrimp food, uh, fish related products, make sure that you uh, go to aquaticsupportsystems.com uh, for all your needs. Um, and if you're new to this channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, the notification bell. And I thank you to everybody who subscribes to this channel and watches these videos. All right, let's go check out the new tank. All right, YouTube, this is what I've got going on in the office here now, uh, which uh, this used to be Cheetos tank, um, but this is a 125 gallon Mabuna tank, and um, it's not finished yet. Um, I've partially stocked it, and I've got some more fish uh, to be coming soon. Uh, I'll do an update video on that when I get them. Um, but, uh, yeah, this is something that I'm pretty excited about, um, something different. Uh, if you guys have been following my channel for any, you know, long period of time, you know that I did keep African cichlids in the past. Um, mostly peacocks and haps, uh, but I have kept Mabuna before. Um, and, uh, for some reason in the past several months, there's just been something nagging at me saying... Um, it'd be really fun to have a Mabuna tank and, th and this tank here was kind of the the one place that was kind of calling to me that would be a good place to have it uh, right in my office where I can kind of watch these guys uh, as I'm working all day long and that type of thing um, so yeah I went ahead and did it um, I picked up some fish uh, well it's been several months back now um, I guess it would have been February I think at a uh, local fish auction um, for the Minnesota Aquarium Society. Um, so these came are all sourced from local breeders. Uh, what I've got are the electric yellows and the powder blues and then a trio of Masoba Deep, I believe that's how you pronounce it. Uh, I've got some more stuff in the works uh, that I'm uh, gonna have some stuff shipped in uh, to add to this tank. Um, but one thing that kind of catches the eye and something that I really wanted to make sure that I did if I were to get back into African cichlids would be to have a 3D background. Um, so I went ahead and ordered one from Universal Rocks. Um, sorry, I guess I'm just noticing that there is a glare from the planted tank that's on the other side of the room, so you have to forgive that. I'll get in closer here in a minute. But uh, anyway, the background, yeah, ordered it from Universal Rocks. Um, for the most part, I'm happy with it. I'm happy with the look for sure. Also, I'm happy with how flexible it was and easy to get in the tank. This is an older um, all glass tank and um, it's got the three openings in the top versus the two like a lot of the newer tanks have. So I was worried that it would be hard to get in, but it rolled up nicely and I was able to get it in there no problem. Um, this is the uh, Malawi, wa Malawi Rock background, and then I ordered four of the Malawi Rocks that they sell separately. That's what you see um, over in the sand area, like right there, right here, right here, and right here. And then um, I, I, I think that they add to it uh, having some stuff in the uh, substrate. But I'm really happy with the way that this background looks. Um, it's starting to grow a little bit of brown algae on it. I don't have any type of a cleanup crew in here at this point. Um, I'm gonna work on that, uh, but I've just been staying away from local fish stores during the coronavirus situation. Um, even ones that do curbside pickup for the most part. Um, so I just haven't gotten around to going and shopping for a pleco or two. And I'm thinking I wanna get a Cynodonis catfish too, uh, kind of for a bottom feeder in this tank, that'll be cool. Um, 
Ordering through Universal Rocks was pretty easy. Um, you put in your order and then they got in contact with me to go over some details. Um, one of the things I wanted was on this side over here, I wanted a side um, piece so that um, it kind of wrapped around. That worked out real well. Um, and then you can choose to have the end cap put on it, which I did here and I also did on the other side. Um, not as happy with the other side. I'm not going to really show that to you. Well, I guess I can. There's no need not to. Um, the thing that kind of sucked about it is it was, um, it's kind of hard to see here, but it was kind of permanently flexed inward. And so I did a really crappy job here of silicone and tried to get it to stick to the side. Um, but I couldn't. Um, and then I just had to really silicone it good so the fish couldn't get behind it and, and that type of thing give you a kind of a long view here where you can see the rocks and, and that type of thing. Um, something else that I wasn't super happy with, I didn't get in contact with them to let them know or anything. I just kind of remedied it by myself, but right in this area here, it for some reason dips down a little bit. And I didn't think much of that at first. But over the, this, this tank's been set up for at least a month now um, without me doing any videos on it or anything, but I was noticing that my fish population was just dwindling. And after a few weeks, I decided, hey, I wonder if they got behind the background because I wasn't finding any dead fish. Sure enough, you know, 80% of the fish were, were behind the background. So I netted them all out and thought, okay, how are they getting in? And I noticed, let me kind of back up a minute, but I'll show you right here. I drilled these holes so that I could have, uh, and I siliconed in some um, stainless steel mesh. And I drilled those so that I could get water behind there so that I could have my intake for my filter and also my heaters behind there. And the only thing you're seeing is the two outtakes for the canister filters. And I noticed uh, it's behind this rock over here, but um, I noticed that one of them had come loose a little bit. So I thought that the fish were slipping in behind there. So I fished them all out and um, got them all back into the display side. Um, and within two days, I was down to like six fish left again. And there's, I don't know, there's probably 25 fish in here. And I'm like, okay, they're getting back there another way. So I did a little bit more looking and I figured that I, I found out that there was a dip right there. I don't know if you can really see it, but um, so I fished them all back out from behind the background and I took some uh, some of those plastic strips that you use on the back of the glass hoods on, a, on tanks and also some pieces of glass that you use on the glass hoods. And I just went all along the upper edge just to make sure that there's no way that fish could jump in back behind there and sealed it all up with, with pieces of plastic and glass. The only place you can really see it is if you get down, like I'm aiming right now, right there in this one spot and you can see it, uh, but otherwise you can't even really tell. Um, so that's what I did and um, now they're not getting back there at all. The one thing that could happen though, um, and I'm able to get back there if I need to again, is there were a couple fish that were holding and they actually released back there because I could see some fry when I was shining a flashlight back there. So there might be some uh, fry that grow out back there. It's hard to say. Um, the second time I didn't see any, so I'm thinking maybe they were eaten, but um, I'll just keep my eye on it and see what happens. Um, but anyway, I've remedied the problem. So that's the only downfall that I would say I've had uh, in this uh, uh, Universal Rocks experience. Um, I did use uh, the J. Wilson code uh, to save, uh, I don't remember what it was, I think 15% maybe. Um, so um, go to his channel, Jay Wilson, um, and uh, he always has codes for Universal Rocks. He used to work there, and uh, he highly recommends them. Um, but yeah, I'm super happy with it. Other than that, as far as the looks go and, and everything like that, I think it makes this tank just pop and look awesome. Um, let's kind of get some close-ups a little bit more on the fish. I'm going to zoom in versus getting close to the tank, because as you saw in the last couple times that I was getting closer, they all get skittish and hide. But... 
I've got eight yellow, electric yellows in here. I'm not gonna say the scientific name because I'm not real good on those with, uh, with Africans yet. And then I've got uh, a bunch of powdered blues, I think like 10 or maybe 12, something like that. Um, I got a mix of males and females. I'm gonna try to stick mostly to males um, on the stuff that I've got coming. Um, but um, I've got three holding female electric, or not electric, uh, uh, powder blues in here right now. And last time I checked too, there was a holding female electric yellow. And then, like I said too, I've got the Masoba Blue, or Masoba Deep. Um, there's one of them in the center of the screen. I forget if that's the male or the female. I think that's the female. And then the two males are more of an orange color. You can see one right there. Or it's kind of got the blue face, but a orangish yellowish. And then the one, other one, where did he go? He just dove behind the rock. Oh, there he is. Um, he's more orange. He's coming out yellow, but he's really orange um, in person. Right over there, this guy. Try to point at him. Boom. But yeah. But they're all doing good, and um, I'm real happy with them, and it's kind of fun to get back into these type of fish because it has been several years since I've kept them. I'm excited to add to this tank, and I'll show you guys uh, what I get when I get them in uh, for sure. But, um, yeah, I'm back into African cichlids. I don't plan on having any more other than this tank uh, for the time being, but I guess you never know. And I am st uh, gonna plan on sticking uh, st strictly to the Mabuna. Um, don't really have a desire right now to get back into peacocks and haps. Uh, I just really like the body shape of the Mabuna and the color of them and uh, their behavior and that type of thing. So just kind of fun for me. So anyway, that's about all I got for you. I'll close with kind of a, a long shot of the tank. Um, I hope you guys are uh, interested in, in what I've got going on here and um, look forward to seeing the additions that I make to this tank. Um, again, if you're new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Oh, um, I'm feeding these guys the Southern Delight Small Cichlid right now. As they get a little bit bigger, I'll go up to the Veggie Krill. And I have been supplementing it a little bit too with uh, the North Fin Veggie and the North Fin Cichlid. Um, but yeah, um, that's kind of what we got going. And from time to time, I'll do like a, a Sarah, not the O-Nip, but the veggie version of the O-Nip. And then I've got some spirulina grazers from Sarah that I use on my reef tank that I put in here as well. They just stick to the glass. So, um, but yeah, uh, thanks for watching everybody. And if you're in need of fish food, um, you know, um, if you've watched my channel for any amount of time, you know that I'm big into Southern Delight fish food and I sell it uh, on my website, aquaticsupportsystems.com. I also sell tons of shrimp food and a few other uh, brands of fish food and that type of thing. So go check that out. It would really, uh, it would really help me uh, if you check out my website. And uh, click, uh, click like on this video and please leave a comment below. Let me know what you think of the new endeavor here and uh, which fish is your favorite and any suggestions for future stocking of Mabunas that you think would go well with these fish. All right, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you later.